Hello Scorpio, Elsie here to do a reading for you my friends. It is an overview of 2024. So we're going to take a quick short look into 2024. Some of the things that you might look for that might be coming up for you Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you Scorpio and all the ways that you've loved on this channel this year. Thank you so much for uh, participating, for being in the comments, your thumbs up, your shares, all of that kind stuff you do. Thank you so much my water family. Um, I am a Pisces moon. That's why I say uh, you are my water family. Okay, here we go. Having a hard time uh, shuffling these ones today. But we're going to look at love, um, career, and finance. That's what we're going to do. We'll see what's coming up for you in 2024 Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio, please. What is coming up in love for Scorpio? All right. Well, I'm just going to leave that one on the floor. And I'm going to take this one and put the rest back. Let's see what's going on here. It says forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Did you hear me? <laughs> Stop fo focusing on past events. It says, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So find out where your thoughts are. Where are they right now at this moment? As I lay these cards, where are your thoughts? Is there somebody that you need to give forgiveness to? For some of you, it's not true. For some of you, that won't resonate. But for those of you that it does, I feel like you are thinking of uh, past events and somebody who pissed you off, somebody who did you wrong, somebody who probably did you pretty dirty, and it feels like you still uh, maybe harbor some resentments. So it is an indication that in order to be able to move forward in 2024, please, forgiveness. It's for you. It's not for them. It never was for them. Never was it for them. It's always for you. All right. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I was just talking about that, wasn't I? Yeah. So if you are having some sort of emotional um, uh, feelings about something that didn't work out in the past or someone that did you wrong or whatever the situation was, it feels like um, the indications here are it's time to let go of it. Leave it back in 2023, y'all. Don't take your bags of garbage and put them on the stoop of 2024. Just try and leave that stuff back there. I know sometimes it's hard. It does take a little bit of um, know-how. It takes a little bit of repetition to know how to, um, to let go and uh, forgive. And forgiving them doesn't mean that you're letting them get away with it. Forgiveness is for yourself. Forgiveness is you deciding that you no longer want to harbor resentment because it's making you sick. This kind of energy, harboring resentments, will make you sick. It will manifest as a uh, physical sickness. All right. Here we go. When you keep energy stored in parts of the body that you won't let it go and you won't move, and that's why we're counseled to exercise as well, right? From doctors online and uh, doctors face to face, they tell us you got to move. You got to move the energies, right? You got to get them out. All right. Let's find out what's going on with your career. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, right? So if you have a beautiful, loving uh, relationship, this is not going to resonate with you. Let's talk about your career. We have commitment. Okay. So it feels like there is some sort of contract that might be coming to you. Additional work, a new job, some sort of commitment that you're going to make to your career. You could be recommitting to the career that you're already in. Um, we've got bottom of the deck, true love. Interesting. So I feel like um, your commitment comes out of loving what you do. And for some of you, you are committed because you love what you do. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they pay you your worth, right? So for some of you, maybe you're just not making you're not making enough money in the place that you're at, that you're committed to, that you won't move from. And it may be because you love the people you work with or you love uh, the where the work is. Maybe it's down the street and around the corner and you don't have to commute to get there. But I feel like there is some sort of commitment or recommitment that you're making to your career path. Let's talk about the financials. Let's talk about finance. <clears throat> for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for 2024. What's coming up? A peek into the finances. We've got Ancestry. So for some of you, I feel like um, the tree is telling me that there is something that you are building here financially that might end up in some sort of a... What are the words? The words are... Um, The 
the ancestry in the tree as it pertains to the finances, it makes me feel like you want to make enough money where you have generational, um, generational wealth. That's what it feels like, the tree and ancestry. And so it feels like generational wealth. Um, it says honoring your roots. Uh, possibly for some of you, I feel like you feel that you're honoring your roots. If you can just bring everyone, not only the people that are with you on the earth right now, but your posterity, the ones that you don't know of, the souls that have not come to earth yet, I feel like you want to leave something here. So that could mean, you know, the, the tree is here and the tree grows and it branches out, right? So it could mean a business. It could mean a family business. Um, but it feels like there is, um, whatever it is that you do in your finances, I feel like you're trying to gain um, financial wealth for so you can share it. We've got card number 42. We've got reciprocity, right? Six, six pentacles. We're dealing in money. That's why I'm saying six pentacles. But I feel like you want to be able to help others, even others that have not come yet, not come to earth yet here. All right. Let's talk about this forgiveness business. <laughs> now, if you, uh, depending on where Scorpio falls in your chart, you could have a little bit of trouble with forgiveness. I'm just saying. Um, and uh, it's it's not just you, Scorpio. It's just people in general, right? Sometimes we have a hard time letting go. Um, it can be a little harder for the fixed signs, for sure, If uh, depending on where your fixed sign shows up. But I feel like there is something here that, that, there, that you feel like is unfinished. So you've got the world card in the reverse here. Um, something that you feel is unfinished. So stop focusing on the energy of the past events. It feels like you need to close the door to something that happened in the past. So it does not follow you uh, through this portal into 2024. Your life is too precious to waste. It's time to stop wasting your time wishing that, uh, you know, that someone else would, would, uh, how can I say? It's like um, somebody said it and I don't know who the famous person is. Might have been Martin Luther King. Maybe not. Yeah, anyways, I feel like the, the saying that I'm thinking of is the one where you drink poison and, and expect someone else to die. Like, I, I feel like when, when you hold um, when you hold on to things and you're unable to give forgiveness, it feels like it never closes the door. It leaves the door open and it, it allows other things through, right? So it's time to uh, deal with the forgiveness so you can close this chapter here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more. Scorpio. Tell me more about Scorpio. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like somebody really did hurt you. I feel like you're healing from that now, but I feel like when they hurt you, it shoved you behind the fear wall. It's like you you didn't expect this person to hurt you and they were just one more pile on, you know, pile on, pile on the Scorpio. That's what it feels like. You were carrying a lot of stuff anyway, and it feels like somebody here felt like they should just pile on whatever it was that happened i feel like you i feel like you are stable you're secure i feel like your world is good i i don't feel like this unforgiveness or your inability to forgive is really affecting your 3d but i think that it's affecting this here it's affecting your uh, your ability to be able to learn a lesson to close the door and come to some sort of a milestone i feel like you can still close the door without forgiveness, is what I want to say. Because forgiving them doesn't mean that you condone what they did. It doesn't mean that um, that uh, they got away with it. It just means that for your sake, for your mental health, for your physical health, um, that it's time to close the door. Because right now it's wide open and whatever, whatever was getting your goat in 2023 is going to be following you into 2024 if you don't close the door. I feel like um, the Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you can do anything that you want. Look, you, you've, you've built yourself from nothing, from one pentacle to the nine. You can do anything that you want, Scorpio. It really is up to you. It never was up to them. And really, do you need someone to come confirm that they did the most terrible thing to you? I think it's silly to waste your time waiting for that. So we have um, the Page of Wands. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Two of Cups. So it was a scorn of love. That's what it feels like. It might be um, someone who hurt you in a relationship, maybe someone who broke up with you, or you ended up having to break up with them because of something that went on. 
I, I don't want to tell you this, but it feels like with the Page of Wands here that I feel, one, that you're on a different path now. You're on a different path to healing because the King of Wands is here. And I feel like we go from the Page to the King. So I feel like somebody's grown up. I feel like your idea of what went on back there is probably looking different than what it did while you were back there. So I feel like going from the Page to the King tells me that there's been some growth, that maybe it was a little more of a chaotic time back then. Maybe you, you were meeting them at sort of a chaotic time in your life, but I feel like you're you're ready to bring in some sort of a stable, passionate love in 2024. Um, the King of Wands is here. And of course, the King of Wands is always going to go for the fire first. You might have fire in the moon or the rising. And um, I, I feel like um, that you are stable and sturdy and ready for new love. The thing is this, is if you don't have forgiveness for the past, it will... It will come to a place where you must face this one more time. The cycle keeps returning if you don't get the cycle down. We do have a nine of wands here and we have one in the hand of the king. So I feel like when you when you do decide to look at it from a king's point of view, taking, um, taking steps toward the two of cups that are um, inspired yeah because the king always steps forward with inspiration they have it's it's an inspiration to step forward i feel like you i feel like it, it almost feels like you find new love and then this old thing turns up again because you left the door open that's what it feels like tell me more please about scorpio we have the Ace of Wands. Look, there's lots of fire here. We have the Lovers and we have the Two of Swords. So see, there's the block. And I'm just going to say there's the block. We think that it's all done. It's all over. You left that person in the past. You, They might, you know, those old feelings still might crop up and you might still rumble a little bit under your breath about the things that they did. But I want to say this is a real block. And um, this inability to be able to forgive, if that's you, and it's not everybody, as I said, it feels like it it uh, is a block with any other relationship that will come up. So it's not just blocking that relationship. It's not that you just can't forgive that person. It's a problem, period. So it feels like it's it's a block to any other relationship. And if you allow this to follow you in, which I think you have because the Page of Wands stands here, I feel like somebody comes back from the past to try and to try and see if you're ready to um, to forgive them. But I feel, I, I'm feeling, Scorpio, that it's you that requires the forgiveness. Like, I feel like somebody needs to say sorry to you. Um, and it's causing a block is what I want to say. It's going to block the next relationship. Um, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Hermit. So I feel like even though it's done and it's in the past and it's gone, it's still dragging through energetically because you haven't closed that energetic door. Um, the Three of Cups tells me that, yeah, there is going to be, you know, the, the lovers is here. It feels like you will have a choice in love, but I feel like you're going to come up against this block again. Ah, but is this person going to screw me like the last person screwed me? Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like that. That's the kind of block that's coming up. So what's coming in the future here for, for love is, is happiness, reciprocity, and wisdom. And uh, it's going to be time to drop these burdens, right? I said nine and one is ten. So once you level up to the king energy, whatever king that is, I feel like for you it's, it's probably... Um, Maybe uh, that in the past you've been a little impulsive as it as it as it is jumping into a relationship rather than going slow. So I think that somebody from the past who is impulsive, and I feel like you've grown out of that vibration, by the way. But the person in the past who has not grown up is slipping through that door because you left it open. So I feel like somebody once you meet somebody, somebody else is coming back, slip through that door to see if you're still available. All right, I think you're done with them personally. Tell me about commitment. We've got commitment in the career uh, career area here. It says it's an event. This commitment is an event. You might be getting a promotion, possibly. If you're someone who has your own business, possibly you might be getting a new contract, a new tender. Tell me about uh, commitment, please, for Scorpio. Tell me more about the commitment for Scorpio. In career for 2024. Ooh, it's a lucrative contract. <laughs> it is. So if you have a business, I feel like some sort of a lucrative contract is heading toward you. Something that is going to change your life. It's going to be a big, big thing. 
I'm, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about construction, but for me, I, I don't know why it's coming up. Uh, construction, it feels like. If you're a contractor, if you're someone who has something to do with building houses, maybe you're the one that comes in to do the electrical in a house, whatever it is, I feel like there's going to be new contracts coming in for you. It feels uh, construction related to me. We do have the page of wands. It's going to come in quickly and you're not expecting it. It feels like it appears out of nowhere here and it sets you on a new path. We have um, the emperor here. And so I feel like you're the contractor. So I'm, I'm not saying that all of you are, are construction workers. <coughs> Pardon me. But it does feel like somebody is choosing you for this commitment. Now, it could be in the ca career that you're in right now, but it doesn't have to be. It can be something totally different. But there is somebody here who I feel sees your worth. They see that you're the person who is in control of it all. That does feel like a, a contractor or someone who's holding down a business of some sort. It feels like there is some sort of passionate opportunity, something you've always wanted to do. Maybe you're a contractor and you've always wanted to build... Um, You've always wanted to build houses for the homeless, let's just say. <laughs> you know, I feel like there's a, a new path that's coming up here in your career, and it's because you've grown. It feels like you go from, you went from in the past being the page to then being the king, but in your career, you are the emperor. You're the one who's going to be in charge of whatever it is that this, this, uh, career commitment is Ooh, look at that look i'm telling you if you are somebody who owns a business your business is about to flourish if you are someone who is working in a business uh for someone else i feel like it's um that somebody here is going to give you uh, like a significant promotion it's not just going to be like the next level it's going to be like two levels up it feels like a significant promotion here uh we have the two of swords You're going to hesitate because I feel like the, the job that you're in or the career that you're in right now is something that um, you've been doing for a while. It might be like a comfortably polished rut. It might be uh, something that you've been doing for a while. And, you know, sometimes we don't want to learn things that are new or we don't want to branch out because we know that, you know, we know the things that we know. We're comfortable. So I feel like for some of you, the recommitment uh, could be to a career um, and you've decided that you're going to go at it like the emperor. You've decided that you're going to show your best. You're going to be the leader. Um, that, I feel, does lead to great places here because of the page of uh, the page of, of wands and the uh, ace of pentacles. But I feel like for those of you who work for yourself, um, I feel like you are going to be getting some sort of a new contract of some sort. Because of your knowledge, because of what you know about the work that you do. We have the Three of Cups. It's going to be a time to celebrate. We have the Hanged Man and we have the Seven of, the seven of Wands. So I feel like that with this, uh, the Sun and the Two of Swords tells me that after thinking on it for a bit, I feel like at first you're going to be like, nah, I don't think I can leave my career to go out and start a business. Or I don't think I can leave this construction company to actually go out and be a contractor. I'm not sure that I can do that. I'm telling you that you can do it. And it doesn't have to be construction. It can be any, any part of any business that I'm talking about here. But it feels like somebody does want you to sign a contract to go out on your own and lead other people so it could be another corporation that's looking at you maybe maybe you're somebody who's a middle management and they need a ceo or they need somebody who is um who is going to lead um people to victory here it does when you first hear about it i think it is it is burdensome because you're going to have to change and change is hard it's charred for everybody not just the the um the fixed signs but it is hard for everybody here so i feel like the sun is telling me it's okay it's okay for you to do it you're going to have clarity uh, this is a period of growth for you so it's time for you to step out of the old and into the new it's time for you to step out of the king of wands kind of energy and time for you to step into the emperor energy i feel like it might be a burden at first you might be scared you might be hesitant the ten of uh, wands and the two of swords tells me that at first you're going to be like uh, no I, I don't think so thanks though you might have already turned it down it might be coming back to you um, but I feel like it turns into quite a celebration there is going to be sacrifices with everything there is um, we do have the the hanged man here but I think you're going to go with your gut ultimately because this is the king of cups right the emperor has the king of cups and we do have a uh, Piscean energy here. So I feel like you have a lot of psychic energy and you're going to be able to make this decision what's best for yourself. Yeah. 
it's going to be what's you're going to decide what's best for you. You're not going to let anyone else push you into doing something you don't want to do. But I, I want to say with the Three of Cups here, to me it seems celebratory. It seems like there will be a lot of celebration here once you do make the decision. All right, tell me about the finances here. Tell me what's coming up in the finances, please. For 2024, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio's finances, please. It feels like generational wealth that you are going to be supporting the family tree. Look, it might be this this emperor. The emperor is the king of the is is the one who runs the empire. All of it. All the kings and queens report to the emperor. So I feel like it's a really big deal. A really big opportunity is coming at you sometime this year. Tell me about um, the ancestry and the tree with the finances, please. So this is something that you've been thinking about or moving towards for a really long time. And I, I do believe that it is the hope and the wish that not only whatever business you get into will be for you, but will also benefit others. I think this is something that you've been thinking about for a long time. And I could be talking about your family. I could be talking about maybe you decided to open a nonprofit and you want to do it that way. But it feels like um, with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles, it's something that you've wanted to do for a long time. Because Six and One is Seven, we're waiting. The Knight of Pentacles needs to make sure that every single thing is perfect. We need to make sure that we're doing all the right things with the finances here. Six of Pentacles. Why do we have Six of Pentacles? Because of the Knight of Wands. Again, the next notification that you need to be doing this slowly. So regardless of whether or not um, you leave you leave an old job to go to a new job, whatever it is that you're doing, you must do it slowly and let the financials grow slowly. Don't make any quick risks or risky moves. Make sure that you are... Make sure that you are getting reciprocity, that you're comfortable with the reciprocity that you're getting in whatever it is that you're doing here that is going to bleed over into your finances. Make sure that there's people that are on your side. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Justice card. This is something that you've always wanted to do. It feels like this is something that you've always wanted to do that is going to um, create some sort of a stable financial environment that you'll be able to help a lot of people with. And not just your people, not just you, not just your 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 spouse and your children, but their children's children and so on. That's what it feels like. So maybe it's a maybe you are a construction worker just to stay with that theme. Maybe you're a construction worker that decides you're going to be someone who is going to build houses for the homeless. You're going to make your mark in your city or whatever it is. It feels like whether it's for your family or for someone else's family, you've got this big idea that you've been holding back on for a while. The Eight of Swords is finally in the reverse. And it feels like you're no longer stuck in your head with justice here. Look, it's karmic justice. It's the scales are all balancing. This is the truth that's coming out. You're finally going to tell people, I got to do what I love, right? The Knight of Cups is here. It's, it's bringing emotion into it. It's something that you've had in your heart space for a really long time. So I I feel that your career is directly connected with your finances and I feel that you with your career and whatever money you're going to make as the emperor, you're going to be able to have finances that are not only going to help you, but is going to help other people, whether you know them or not. It's like leaving a legacy. We have the four of cups. We have the magician. Yeah, it's time to stop sitting around. I'm just going to say, it says here, right? You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. There it is. Thinking, dreaming, and imagining. I love it. It's uh, uh, the the dream, right? Is is like this person is bored where they are. It's like they're, they're trying to dream about a time that's better. Um, they're uh, in indecision sort of sitting there not really doing anything is this really what I want to do with my time somebody here is about to make a big decision knowing that you are the emperor but you're also the magician you know your worth you know that you're magic you know that whatever dream you've been thinking about or whatever this person's thinking about as they sit here and look over 
all of this, <laughs> the information and possibly relationships that have gone past. Um, I feel like what comes from it is I need to bring whatever is in the mind, whatever is in the mind, I need to bring it to the earth and make it into a pentacle. So I feel like you are taking some sort of an idea and it is going to make you the king of pentacles. So it's going to make you not only you stable, but it's going to make other people stable as well. And I kind of love that. We've got the queen of cups. People are going to see you as kind and compassionate. And because of this, I feel like you're leaving a financial legacy and I feel like it starts with your career. There's some sort of a big career move that you're going to make this year that is going to bring in some sort of a legacy. Either you're going to put the stamp on your city because you've changed things up and, and maybe you've been very charitable or maybe this is, you know, giving it to your children and your children's children and so on. And when you leave the earth, your legacy will be that you built this big business, possibly a construction business, and brought all the family members in. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let it go. Thank you uh, for being here. Thank you for watching this. I appreciate you so much, Scorpio. I'm going to go for now and I'll be back because I'm always back. Happy New Year, y'all. Bye-bye.